One of the most mysterious events in Australian history concerns the loss of the Australian warship HMAS Sydney II, which occurred on the 19th November 1941. She disappeared after a battle with the German armed merchant ship Cormoran, which was a very significant ship, but one would not have expected her to be able to sink the HMAS Sydney II. Her final resting place remained a mystery for more than 66 years. The circumstances surrounding her loss, with all of her 645 crew, has been the subject of much speculation. Mount Scott, which has a magnificent view over the Geraldton Harbour and out to the ocean, was chosen as the site for a nationally significant memorial to her brave crew and their families. The project to build this memorial was initiated by the Rotary Club of Geraldton and it was dedicated on the 18th November 2001 and the eternal flame lit on the 19th November 2001, 60 years to the day after the tragic loss of the HMAS Sydney II. The memorial was designed by world-renowned sculptors Joan Walsh Smith and Charles Smith. Its centrepiece is a magnificent dome featuring 645 seagulls, one to represent each of the sailors lost on the HMAS Sydney II. The southern wall shows photographs of the ship and the names of her crew. The northern area features a magnificent bronze statue depicting a woman gazing desperately out to sea, waiting for news of the ill-fated Sydney. Nearby is a steel sculpture, which is a single dramatic shape representing the bow of the ship. The combination of these elements results in an extremely moving and fitting memorial to the HMAS Sydney too. All visitors to the area should see it. I recommend you spend at least an hour there and it's best about sunset. The 66 year search for the Sydney ended dramatically. Sunday the 16th of March 2008, the Finding Sydney Foundation's chartered survey vessel Geosounder found HMAS Sydney 2, approximately 12 nautical miles from the wreck of the Cormoran, which they had located on the previous Wednesday. HMAS Sydney 2 stands proudly upright, largely intact, about 2,468 metres below the surface, 207 kilometres from Steep Point, the westernmost section of the West Australian coast she was bravely defending. The Finding Sydney Foundation has generously allowed us to use these dramatic photos and for more information please visit their fascinating website. There is a link from drivewa.com. It is hoped that this dramatic footage will help us understand how the HMAS Sydney 2 was lost, but the Finding Sydney Foundation's remotely operated vehicle will not enter her hull. The site has been designated a historic shipwreck by the Australian Government to protect and preserve this important war grave. They have announced a new inquiry into the sinking of HMAS Sydney 2, so the mystery remains, but we are now a little closer to finding the answers that have eluded us for more than half a century. One hopes that the finding of both ships will bring some closure to the relatives and friends of the brave sailors who were lost in this tragic encounter.